The motion pictures that you're about to see were produced by the newsreel facilities of Cosman. We had a whole city that was underground, really. We had uh, kitchens and hospital facilities and, um, you know, bunks and movie theaters <clears throat> and coffee shops and bookstores and pizza parlors. We had the whole, the whole city was in an underground ground bunker. I'm going to show you my studio. This is my studio. And I guess I could turn more lights on when I do this. Why I don't plan these things out? Because then, then they wouldn't be spontaneous and interesting, right? If they were just all planned out and well edited and well scripted, then it would they would just seem fake and polished and professional, and I, I hate that. So they were captured several months ago near the by elements of the 173rd Airborne Brigade. Here's my studio, right? Here's one of my workbenches made out of. Um, pallets and four by fours and a bench here screws and grinders and vices and hand tools over there and you're right underneath the feet of the uh, art buyers in the gallery and there was really nothing they could do about it um, it did we did everything we could to uh, hide our artwork from uh, potential art buyers and gallery owners in the bunker system now, many of the captured newsreels were damaged or of poor quality. But we salvaged enough film to provide a good close-up look of outsider artists. Their operation. I've got a lot of... Years ago, I bought out, like this, I bought out a bunch of stuff from an old ironworks company that made mostly lamp parts. And uh, a lot of this stuff you can still, I think, get new. I, I make uh, ornamental iron stuff like porch railings and all that stuff. It's all modular, but you need to know how to weld and design things and put it together. I've done most of that just for myself. I may show you that later on, but... And so we, we, we spent a lot of day polishing the artwork and sharpening it and uh, getting it ready for um, the next uh, assault. And... Um... I collect a bunch of stuff like that. And and then, then there's, there's the army jeep and... and uh, the practice bomb. You've seen that. No reason to get nervous. It's just... A practice bomb holy crap and there's underpants pa say hello to the people hello people and wrestling masks and here's some of my metal working tools you know this you could put a piece of flat steel in and turn it and make it all curly cute and there's uh, you know twisters and benders and here's a sheet metal thing that I haven't even used I don't even know why I have it in the first sequence, we take you behind enemy lines. So why am I showing you all this, and why is this a dark and dirty secret? Crazy, dark, dirty secret? Well... So we follow our, uh, we follow our commander. Um, we'll, we'll follow him st straight, straight to Starbucks, usually, and um, um, we, we normally just get, like, the economy brand of coffee, um, because we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. This whole space that you're looking at here is crawl space. Yes, indeed. Let me just, just step out here into the existing basement and see that concrete edge right there? Concrete edge over there. Well, I took a uh, concrete saw, cut that out, and with a pickaxe, a shovel, and a um, air hammer, uh, which I purchased for the job. I dug out this space in here, which was about five feet, five or six feet deep by about 36 by 19 feet altogether. Um, man, when you're driven, you're just driven, regardless of the consequences, right? Right? Be serious about this now.
<laughs> we have the place it's fairly well uh well concealed and um we have you know traps you know we go to a pizza parlor we'll you know take a handful of um toothpicks toothpicks and we'll dump uh dip them in um, hot sauce and set you know traps for people so when they step in them the toothpicks go through those little spongy flip-flops and cause you know your feet to get kind of like all prickly and hot <clears throat> and over the course of three years I built this studio <laughs> so that I could paint these crazy paintings so see that's how dedicated I am to this that I would actually spend three years digging out <laughs> at a crawl space under my house so that helps keep them away and we've got uh, clay moors. That's um, really bad pottery. We set up around on the outside of the our you know system here. Um, so when our buyers walk by, they just go, oh, you know, like, what, like you know, little glazed bunnies and Santa Clauses and, and a lot of holiday things usually turn turns by, uh, real art buyers away, serious art buyers away. Uh, we so it was dark when I did it, and it was very dirty. So you have a dark and dirty secret now. I actually originally started out this video. Where am I? There I am. Started out this video with like this reference to like real fake outsider artists and how, you know, everybody on YouTube tries to make it seem like they're like wacky. And this would prove that I was wackier than all the other fake outsider artists. Uh, but I think I made too big a point of it. So I actually reshot this whole thing now. Because I don't, I think that this speaks for itself. <laughs> so this is your art militia commander coming to you direct from the outsider underground bunker system. <laughs> we're, all, we're, we're all subversive here. We're all subversive. Me and, and the pug, the Wonder Pug Hoover. Now these scenes of preparation and action were probably staged. But they do show outsider artists tactics and techniques. Charge! 